He's a leap law enforcement against prohibition speaker. He came all the way from Chicago to be here with us today. Please, yeah. Thank you very much. I am here today on behalf of LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. The members and leaders of LEAP are former law enforcement officers, narcotics agents, judges, prosecutors, probation officers, parole officers who used to enforce the war on drugs. They now recognize, as I recognize, that the war on drugs is the heart of the problem. Not drugs, but the war on drugs. Day in, day in and day out, the public recognizes that war on drugs is a failure. Leap comes here to join with you today because today the example of the failure of the war on drugs is seen and visited upon the Green family and this infant Green. Heartbreaking stories that help tear apart this war on drugs that has turned our country into the prison capital of the world. In this state of Michigan, we have, we have uh, 43,000 people locked up, 25% of them who are there for drug offenses and yet drugs inundate us and are uncontrolled and unregulated. But then hope came along. Federal law was so bad that the people of Michigan said we should have medical marijuana. They put it to a vote and they passed it in 2008. And for the first time, a reasonable, a reasonable cons conservative Midwest state acted to say we want medical marijuana legalized. That conflicts with the Controlled Substances Act of the federal government that says marijuana like cocaine and heroin is prohibited. It is becoming so evident to everyone around the country and the world for that matter that the war on drugs does not work that 20 states have now legalized medical marijuana. This last November, two states have, have legalized recreational marijuana. That created a conflict between the federal government and the state government. And we waited from November until this September until Attorney General Eric Holder announced through uh, uh, Jim Cole, Deputy Attorney General of the United States, that the federal government is going to recognize the state sovereignty and the right of people to vote and put medical marijuana and recreational marijuana in place. This, this has created a, a constitutional conflict between the states and the federal government and, and, and it's, it's gatherings like this that make it so apparent that this is not going to go away. Another interesting observation I'd like to make, within the last 30 days, because the war on drugs is such a failure, the Attorney General of the United States said that we no longer wish U.S. attorneys to be putting people in jail for nonviolent drug offenses and basically to ignore the Controlled Substances Act which effectively amounts to the Attorney General engaging in nullification just like juries often do because of the unreasonableness of our prohibition laws in the United States. Then, this last Tuesday, because of this conflict between federal and state law, the uh, Judiciary Committee under the leadership of Chairman Leahy called a meeting to discuss how are we going to resolve the conflict between the state and the federal government. The conclusion and the answer to that has not yet been, been, been concluded. But we know that the harm that's being done is, that's exhibited by, by you in front of a building that houses the people who are making the decisions we're here to protest about is, is not going to go away until things change. Right, right. You know, and we've already passed a constitutional amendment in Michigan. The people made it clear they want medical marijuana. 
But we don't need another constitutional amendment. We don't need new laws passed. We need government. We need government to care about the people and do its job to protect people, to protect families, to keep families united, to put children with parents, to let nonviolent drug offenders out of prison. So how can we resolve this without some major uh, state referendum? The people in this building, if they use good discretion like Attorney General Eric Holder has done with regard to the conflict between state and federal law, it could resolve this problem without litigation, fights, and demonstrations. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not only is this the executive branch of government, but this case has also taken itself to two different courtrooms in the state of Michigan where a Judge Bowman and a Judge Garcia have the power to exercise discretion and put an end to the nonsense that brings us here to the state capitol today. Not only the executive branch, not only ju the judicial branch of government, but the, ex but the legislative branch of government can join in that effort. We are here at the state capitol, and if the state legislature would use its discretion and its common sense and listen to the will of the people as expressed in a referendum and, and, and a constitutional amendment of 2008, these problems would be solved. Three, three belongs home. Yeah!